Hey everyone, Angie Zumwalt, Diamond Ambassador, and welcome to day 11 of Jewel Heist Jewels, 18 Tips for 2018. Y'all, I am so excited to be sharing with you today. Um, first of all, first off, I want to encourage you, if you have missed out on any of the videos over the last 10 days, I really want to encourage you, go back and watch these videos. Y'all, these are quick, like five, 10 minute videos that will inspire you, that will encourage you, that will give you so many amazing tips on how you can grow yourself and how you can grow your team and kick off your business in 2018. So first off, I want to share a little bit about myself. Um, I am a Texas girl, born and raised in Texas, um, and two and a half years ago, we moved to Florida. And honestly, um, we were super excited about this move, just something new, um, being close to the beach. Um, I know that, you know, when I was looking at getting my family, looking at getting our children acclimated, um, you know, really concerned about making sure that our children were acclimated, making sure that they were making friends, uh, making sure that I got um, them involved in activities, you know, that would help them make new friends. Um, that was kind of like the first thing that I thought about. And honestly, I really didn't think too much about myself until um, my daughter's first day of school. Um, I remember my daughter going to school, walking her to class, and then I remember um, going out to the car, you know, strapping my son in the car seat, going out to the car and sitting there. And y'all, I just started crying because I thought, oh my goodness, I have no friends. Because what we used to do on the first day of school is all the moms would get together for breakfast or all the moms would get together, you know, and stand outside in like the little auditorium thing at school and chit chat for 30 minutes or, you know, something. And here I was and I came to this realization that like I had no friends, I had no network, I had no family in Florida. And y'all, I will be honest, I mean, in the beginning it was a little bit of a struggle for me because um, if you know anything about me, I am a super, super social person. I thrive around being around other people, being social. And so in the beginning, this was a real big challenge. Um, you know, I went from the um, Plexus capital. I mean, I say it's the capital of Plexus because um, Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas, there are so many Plexus jewels, Plexus ambassadors. And let me tell you why, first of all, if you're in, in an area where you have a lot of jewels in your area, you have a lot of um, ambassadors in your area, y'all, this is amazing. Because let me tell you something about why it is good to have a lot of jewels, a lot of um, ambassadors in your area. First of all, your trust is starting is established. Um, people hear about Plexus, people know about Plexus, people see it all the time or you know, see the cars, people see the success of Plexus. I remember when um, I was in Texas just you know, not too long ago when I was in Texas. First of all, um, someone took a picture of my car and was like, hey, does anyone, uh, posted it on, I think it was like Diamond Destination or something. Like, hey, does anyone know who this is? And they were so excited to like see another jewel. Um, and then I thought, ooh, can't go anywhere in Texas. But, um, and then I remember even myself, how excited I would see because I saw at least five different Plexus Lexus driving around and how excited that was. Um, to see that success because you don't see it in Florida. You don't see a lot of that in Florida. So there is that recognition. People see the success. People hear the success stories. So that is the big thing. That is why being in an area where there are a lot of other ambassadors, y'all, that is amazing. Secondly, you know, because people see the success. People see the success. People hear the success stories. So the trust, um, is, 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 is being, is already established. You don't have to start off, um, on the ground floor. Um, secondly, there are meetings. You have a community, um, in areas where there are meetings all the time. There, you know, you have a community of other ambassadors in areas where there are a lot of Plexus, Plexus ambassadors. And I want to tell you that I got Jewel status in an area where there are a lot of Plexus um, ambassadors before I moved to, I felt like it was an island off all by myself. Because when I moved to Clearwater, Florida, um, y'all, I mean, nobody knew about Plexus. 
The closest jewel to me was um, two and a half hours away. Um, I know like the latest count that I've had, I think there may be around 25 to 30 jewels in the entire state of Florida where I was looking at, you know, close to 200 in Texas, but 25 to 30 jewels in the entire state of Florida. Um, my closest jewel was two hours away. I had no meetings, no other ambassadors close to me, no network, no friends. Y'all, I was literally starting from scratch. So instead of like sitting around in which the beginning, I'll be honest, I sat around, I felt sorry for myself. You know, um, I finally decided, y'all, if you're in an area where no one knows about Plexus, this is huge because think about the opportunity that you have. Um, and I will tell you, one of the most important things that you can do, and even if you are in an area where there are a lot of, um, a lot of ambassadors, Building relationships is key to the growth of your business. Y'all, we are in a relationship, um, we are in a relationship business and we have got to get outside of Facebook and we have got to get out, out outside of Facebook, outside of any like social media and we have got to get out and be intentional, be bold in sharing and building relationships with other people. So that's what I had to do. Because first of all, y'all, I just wanted friends. I just needed a new network of people. Um, so my approach is, I mean, I had to be very intentional. So one of the things that I would do is um, I would show up about 15 to 20 minutes earlier before the kids got out. And at my school, um, the, we would all hang out. The kids would be dropped off um, or the, the kids would come out to the playground and that's where their parents would pick them up after school. So I would show up about 15 to 20 minutes early to connect with other moms. Um, I started building relationships with other moms. I started friending those other moms on Facebook. Um, that was very important. Um, I started um, inviting those other moms to lunch, to coffee, to breakfast. You know, I was very, very intentional to make sure that I had at least two social connections a coffee, a lunch, a Bible study, something during the week to help build those relationships. So that's what I want to encourage you. Get out from behind the computer, be intentional, be bold about building the relationships. Every time that I picked my daughter up from school, picked my son up from school, I wore a Plexus shirt. So I mean, even right now, um, I have my Plexus swag on. Um, I would make sure, no matter how many times I had drank my pink drink, I would make sure when I picked up my kids in the afternoon, when I went on that play date, I had my pink drink. I would mix up my pink drink. I would shake up my water. Um, I would drink my pink drink. And the thing is, I would not talk about Plexus, but I have friended them on Facebook. They see my shirt. They see my pink drink they're gonna start asking questions. And that's what happened. It started happening organically. I didn't push it on people. Um, I remember, you know, one of my primary legs here, um, we joined, We start, I started a Bible study with her. In fact, I met her on the playground. Um, I joined a Bible study. I became a part of her Bible study. I um, was invited to her Christmas party. Um, I had decided, you know, this is a really great idea is um, I had decided to team up with another mom and throw a Christmas party, but this is even kind of something that you could do is I reached out to another mom and said, hey, I'm new in the area. You know, I'm just looking to make connections. Can we, like, could you connect me with, you know, other, other moms? Um, maybe we could go out to lunch. Maybe we could have, you know, we did like a favoritist things party is where we got together and everyone buys you know, their favorite thing. And then in my favorite thing, I think I put a rustic cuff or, a, you know, some kind of Alex and Andy bracelet. And I put three sticks of, of plexus. And so that was an easy way. I mean, that's something that you could do a favorite things party, um, you know, now, anytime. In fact, I have a friend that's having one in January. Um, but, you know, having these get with other moms, be intentional about meeting people, be intentional about going out for coffee, be intentional about going out for lunches, be intentional about asking like, hey, do you know, you know, could you introduce me? Like, I'm new here. Could you introduce me to some other moms? Maybe we can get together, 
you know, for a mom's night out, go to a movie, go to happy hour, go to lunch. Um, join Bible studies, y'all. That is a great way to make connections. Um, and make sure all of these new people that you meet, make sure that you are friending them on social media. And, and here's why. Um, first of all, you friend them on social media and they begin to see your Plexus post. They begin to see a little more about you, get to know about you. But second of all, especially when you're new, you get to be a part of their social media network. You can go, you can like, you can comment um, on their Facebook, but you get to learn more about them. And that's really important, especially if you're new to an area or you don't know someone, you kind of get to know a little bit about more who they are. And it really helps you decide, like, is this someone that I would want on my team? Because let's face it, the people that we have on our team are the people that we're gonna be doing life with. So you wanna make sure that that person fits in with someone that you would wanna do life with. So um, I wanna encourage you to be bold, to be intentional, to get out from behind um, your computer, out from behind social media, and let's start, you know, start today. Start, you know, join a Bible study. Um, you know, try to do a once a month mom's night out with the moms. If you, um, if you stay at home, you know, volunteer for your school, show up like I did, show up early for carpool or for pickup and socialize with the moms. But y'all get out there and build relationships. Make sure that you are wearing your Plexus swag, um, bring your pink drink and purposely mix it up in order to start conversations. And like I was uh, saying, um, I think I didn't complete my story there, but the, um, the mom that I had met on the playground that I had joined a Bible study with, I didn't want to just come at her. I didn't want people to think I was really trying to build friendships, y'all. I didn't want people to think that I was only being nice to them because I wanted to sell to them. I wanted to build that relationship. So I was real intentional in making sure I was building that relationship and kind of dropping things like wearing Plexus swag, posting it, you know, friending them on Facebook so they would see my post on Facebook, mixing up my pink drink when I was around them. Um, so what happened with this mom, and, and she's also one of my primary legs um, in Florida right now, is one day I had a shirt on that said, God bless Plexus. And she said, God bless, oh, I love your shirt. Like, where can I get a shirt like that? And then she said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is Plexus? And it was, it was you know, the first of the year, and I just kind of started sharing, you know, a little bit about Plexus. And she was like, really, you know, me and my husband are working on getting our health you know, getting our health back in line, getting our bodies back in balance. I think that sounds like something we might be interested with. And would you like to come have coffee tomorrow? And um, so, you know, it just kind of happened that way. And y'all, she is one of my biggest influencers um, on um, my outside leg, on my Florida team. And it just happened by me wearing Plexus swag, by me being intentional about engaging and um, building that relationship. So I really want to encourage you all. I want to encourage you to be bold, be intentional about going out there, joining groups, joining Bible studies, um, and building those connections and building those relationships. And I am looking forward to seeing what God has in store for you in 2018. Bye.